Recent years have seen accelerating declines in birth rates and rapid population aging in South Korea. To address this lowest low fertility and super-aged society, continuous innovations across the entire economy is necessary. Innovation encompasses a set of activities that create economic value by accumulating knowledge and realizing new ideas through research and development. Although Korean firms' innovation activities recorded high globally, such as R&D expenditure ranks second, and patent applications in the U.S. rank fourth, the productivity growth of firms has significantly slowed down since the 2010s. This slowdown is largely influenced by the stagnant productivity of innovative firms, which account for about 72% of total corporate R&D spending since the 2010s. Specifically, the factors behind the significant slowdown in productivity growth of innovative firms are examined by firm size and age. For large firms, innovation quantity has increased. However, innovation quality, closely linked to productivity, declined in the mid-2000s and hasn't recovered. This may explain the slowdown. In the case of young small and medium-sized enterprises (SMEs), the difficulties in innovation financing have intensified since the 2010s. These financial constraints may have also contributed to the decrease in R&D spending by SMEs. Moreover, young SMEs are aging rapidly as fewer new firms with innovative potential enter the market which may have also influenced the slowdown. The average age of young SMEs increased about eightfold from 1.6 years in 2001 to 12.5 years in 2020. The issues of innovative firms since 2010s are closely related to 1. A decrease in the share of R&D expenditures on basic research. 2. Insufficient innovation financing for venture capital due to the restrictions to venture capital accessibility and a lack of private venture capital. And three, the lack of conditions for fostering innovative entrepreneurs, which may have contributed to the decline in the entry of new companies with innovative potential. South Korea's market capitalization is predominantly held by manufacturing conglomerates established prior to the 1990s. On the other hand, in the United States, there's been a continuous flow of pioneering entrepreneurs. In light of these findings, if we first strengthen basic research, second, improve the efficiency of VC investment to finance innovation, and finally, create an educational environment and social conditions that actively promote innovative entrepreneurs, we can expect to see productivity growth for Korean companies again based on active innovation activities.